Let's go back to a single. Uh, Caroline. Bob and I, we'd started it as a shuffle, which I, when I did, I did it on a solo album like that, I think. And then I say, if you want to, turn me on to. It's like that. So, yeah. And we kept trying it and kept trying it with the band. And, and also, we'd written the basic track when we lived in Shawbury Court, which was a dodgy flat above the co-op morgue, just to make it, you know, give it down. Shawbury Court, yeah, no, it was flat above them. And uh, we'd gone on holiday with our respective wives at the time, and we were in the front finishing a lyric. And it was, I was driving, I think, to love working like that. La, la, yeah, la, la, la. Take my hand, together we can... No, we can't say fucking rock and roll. It's so hackneyed. You can't say that. It's been born to death. Do you realise how many times that phrase has been used since then? And on the current Quo album, it's so many references. Rock this, rock that, rock the other. Get it in there, you know. But I remember thinking at the time, that's just hammy hackneyed. But, um... Yeah, so we wrote the wrote the thing, and then we went to the band to to routine it. That's an expression we musos use, routine it, to learn the frigging thing and run through it. And it wouldn't work as a shuffle. I don't know why or what was... But I think suddenly Rick had said, why don't we do-da-da-da-da-da-da-da in, in a straight eight jobby? And then I think Rick went into this... Deaf volume, da, 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 da. that's all right. You know what I'm saying? And to me, da, 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 da. for me, it sounded French. And I thought, yes, I like that. And it's not particular. Particularly, da, 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 da. that's French. It still sounds French to me, except when I'm playing it. And um, as soon as he'd done that front and we got it, mm, this is special. And that's what was good though, over the years. You do stuff and you suddenly something going on, I don't know what it is. And it's very strange knowing who Quo are, who we are, uh, and trying to fight one's ego and such, and then written, no, that's good. It's very difficult to look at yourself and say, oh, that's good, and still remain detached. I can do that occasionally, but just slap myself down, because one gets, you start thinking, yes, well, the world needs me. No, it doesn't, good. See, I was going to say to you, and you're probably going to, I know what you guys are all like, I've, heard, I've asked it to Paul McCartney, Gene Simmons for Kids, whatever, Mickey Six. You've written one that big. You still let me sit with it. How does it feel when you've written it? Do you know it's going to be? Is it kind of like, wow, that was a moment? Or is it just, I've just written another song? I, I, I kind of pride myself on the fact that for years I would spot the singer. I'd know which one it's going to be. And even when it, after some years that Andrew joined, you can ask Andrew, oh, you have asked Andrew. But um, we would say mm, top ten, top five. We would get a bead on it and you knew. And, and I believe someone was interviewing Diane Warren once that I saw, and she and I asked her the same question. Can you tell? She said, you used to be able to, but since radio's dis dissipated, you can't necessarily, because unless you get some sort of play, I don't care who we are, we only heard it once, it's gone. I love that, unless I hear it again, it's gone. Sorry, what was the question again? Just saying, if it's that big and... You know, yeah, and, 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 and Caroline... Let my hand and that together we can... It, you want to do me on it's a logical write it's easy to write kind of but when I said when Rick get the and the atmosphere in the studio when the tape was going whoa there's something going on here uh, and when I first heard in the army I thought he can't fail it's either a massive hit or a complete flop and the uh, um, same with Rockin I didn't see Rockin until it was recorded it was Rick's idea to and uh but one song I wrote that I thought was, oh, that's it, I've done it. They are going to love me to death forever. I've done it. It's like someone's going to say, I was almost waiting for someone to say, good lad, you've finished. Okay, you can do it now. And there was a track called All We Really Want to Do. And I was writing the thing. She said, I find fascinating when we're writing. I know McCartney does this sometimes or has done. I'd had that come up to the idea, da, 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 you know, da, 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 and it's coming up to cross, da, 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 da. And to, make, to help myself remember it, if it's going to be okay the following morning, I try and find some sort of... Uh, to help remember it. And all I had was... Oh, Polly Wolly Doodle all the day. I thought, yeah, great. Polly Wolly fucking Doodle. Anyway, fine. So I checked him. Yeah, Polly Wolly Doodle all is perfect. Then we finish it. I got it all done. And we, right, I'm going to try and do a lyric. Anything you want to say? Not particularly. I'm not one of those people that says, I've got this thing burning thing to say. Um... 
I just want it to sound right with her. And I thought that was bad until I realised that Billy Joel does that and I quite respect his writing. And So I'm thinking, oh, really? how the bloody hell are you going to get? So I eventually work out that all we were going to do is Polly Wally Doodle. Is all we really want to do is what we want to do and do it. And I thought, it's so plebby, but fine. That gave us the idea for the song and that's how it gets. And then you go back and write the meaning of the thing. And I thought, people are going to be playing with themselves when they hear this. No, they won't. Went straight past them. And so I do, I can get blinded by something. And I don't know the difference when, I don't think, when I'm totally blinded by it and it's a complete no-no, or when I'm totally blinded by it and it's a top five. But usually, usually one knows, but it has changed these days. I told you, when we me and Andrew Bridges, we said top five. Top five. And I remember calling him, it had got to number two. He said, let them eat. We used to have this joke, which is let them eat cake. You know, fuck them, something like that, you know. He said, let them eat some, some other joke we'd say to each other, let them eat something, let them eat shit like And yeah, right. We were so pleased that it had done it. And and it's interesting that certain tracks over the years, there's such a battle to get them put out. Margarita in the army. Rocking was okay. Although it was tricky to get the band to record it. We weren't that... Uh, Bridges, uh, Army, what else to say? There's a few of them, they just wouldn't. And then suddenly, oh yeah. I remember, I think Rick and John actually apologised after the event. They thought it was hilarious. I mean, doing they were embarrassed by doing it. And again, it's what I said to you, it's led from people's testicles. You have this idea of what we are as rock and roll people, but, oh no, not, not that one, it's a bit too, this fine line, but the notes have got no clue. That C sharp doesn't know it's uncalled in that song. It really doesn't. And it's still a C freaking sharp. We try and upset it, and I find all that weird. I wish, like I said, we do these festivals in Scandinavia sometimes, and we're men, Scandinavians. We are men, cradle of filth, that kind of stuff, which is all. And, uh, <laughs> and we get put on, I was sitting in this caravan thing one day thinking, oh, I don't want to be here. Whatever it was, I wanted to be at home. Oh, shit, this. I'm looking at this poster. And some of the things that had in this post, like Sid Snot, you know, spunk up the bum, like anything gross. Status quo. I thought, that doesn't make sense. Talk about in Congress. And we get on there, and everybody at this, these festivals has got black hair, black leather clothes, black leather trousers, black leather things, black tattoos, black nose, black art, black, black, black haired girlfriends, black lips, black eyes, black bum, black tits, black everything, you know. And they're very, very serious at Scandinavians. And, uh, and then they all are coming down the front to watch us go, giddy up, giddy up and get... I don't understand why Rock and Roll Well transcends anything. Don't know what it is, it's fine. There are even people in our audience that are embarrassed by In the Army, but they're not embarrassed by Rock and Roll Over the World. They're embarrassed by Margarita, but not Rock and Roll Over the World. They're embarrassed by Burning Bridges, but not Rock and Roll Over the World. I don't understand you. Giddy up, giddy up. Are you... Um... But there we are. <laughs> Think about it, giddy up a giddy. Oh, that band, you know, it's so heavy. Oh, fucking hell, rock. Giddy up a giddy up. It's funny, isn't it? It's just to me. Oh, testicles. It's a lovely word, though, isn't it? It is. 